Okay, I'm gonna level with you. The Bulgari Bulgari collection has always been my least favorite in the entire Bulgari range. And the reason is simple, branding. So much branding. Branding on the bracelet, branding on the bezel, branding on the dial. It's as if Bulgari's worried you're going to forget what the brand is on your wrist. So when it was announced a couple of months ago that there was a new Bulgari Bulgari collection coming, I was not exactly the first one to download that press release. However, I am not too proud to say that I have done an epic 180 on this collection and this video review is going to tell you exactly why. But before we get into it, may I ask you to please subscribe to Time and Tide, our channel, and also hit that bell so that you get notifications of all the hot watch reviews that drop and we drop a lot. Back to the watch, the things I like about it, the things that have surprised me, the curious element that got me interested in the first place. I'll start with that. It's the name, the aluminium collection. What could that possibly mean? A watch constructed of aluminium still in the luxury space? Well, Bulgari have proudly said that they are redefining luxury with this watch. And once that was dealt with, I became very curious about what an aluminium watch would feel like on the wrist. And I can tell you this, it feels very, very good, especially in warm weather. It has a very cool tactile wrist feel and the lightness is very attractive, especially in warmer climes and in hot summer months when heavy steel watches get awfully sweaty. Now, aluminium is more than just a comfortable material to wear. It is also very, very tough. And the nature of this aluminium on the wrist is that you do not worry for its safety as a daily wrist worn watch. Number two, let's go back to that initial point about branding. The really clever aspect of the entire Bulgari Bulgari aluminium collection is that the texture of the materials has the effect of essentially hiding all of this branding that I used to find objectionable. There is a matte black rubber strap. There is a matte black rubber bezel. So all of that embossed Bulgari branding is essentially gone away. And when you do catch it, it actually has the effect of being somewhat of an Easter egg. The other thing that really impresses me about this watch is the construction of this bracelet. Now, when you buy a luxury watch and it has a rubber strap, you want that thing to be over-engineered. And let's think about some popular brands that have rubber straps in this category. They are all superb creations. We have steel ribs inside the rubber straps in some examples. And in this case, we have two knuckles or two aluminium joints that really change the way this watch sits on your wrist. You put it on and you essentially shape it with your right hand before clasping the pin buckle. So it has the effect of creating a real shape and it fits to the form of your wrist and gives it structure. It doesn't feel like a flimsy rubber strap. The other thing that caught my eye as I started to delve into this collection is the colorways. They are just so on point. We have the black dial time only with red tip to the second hand and red counterweight as well as white indices and numerals at 12 and six. And we have the inverse. We have a white dial version in time only. And then the big sexy pandas. Everyone has been posting images of the pandas. We have the white dial with black subdial registers. Of course, this is a chronograph. Now, the choice is yours again. I always gravitate to black dials. I just find something about this colorway very sexy. Now let's talk about the movements because this leads us to perhaps the most surprising and emphatic point about this collection, which is the price. It is extremely accessible. For a brand whose watches are traditionally priced at a much higher price point. And the way that they've achieved that in these two models, time only and chronograph models, are by installing them with unfussy, and incredibly robust ETA movements. We have the ETA 2892 as a base of the time only, which then becomes the B77 movement, and the ETA 2894 as a base of the chronograph. Both models offer 100 meters water resistance and have loom on the hands and indices. There is also a handy date window at three on the time only and at 4.5 on the chronograph. So in summary, 
And I suggest before you write this one off, do the same. Go and try this watch on, feel the lightness of the aluminium, the coolness of the titanium case back, and also experience this very well-designed rubber strap. And hey, if you like this video review, do us a favor. Tell us which model you like best in the comments below. And if you're not already a subscriber, do it. Okay, last but not least, the price. The Bulgari Aluminium three-handers with black or white dial have a recommended retail price in Australia of $4,340, while the Chronograph has a recommended retail price of $6,250 Australian dollars. All three models are available right now from Bulgari boutiques across the country and around the world.